hello guys welcome back to the channel thank you for stopping by if you're an old subscriber thanks again for your support if you're new welcome 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 please like share and subscribe um today i'm just doing a little car vlog and today i am actually heading to um the va hospital to get my covid shot so i'm actually on my way to drop my car off to get serviced and i had surgery on my ankle it's not quite healed yet but i'm making do so um back to the um this is my first time trying to drive and yeah i'm feeling it but I had to get this done because my car is acting up. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the cars right now. So, in the beginning, yes, I was totally against the new shots. This is in the beginning, whenever they were talking about the shots, whatever, before anything um, was really tested. It, in my opinion, I didn't feel that there, it was enough time and we're talking about last year whenever they first started coming out with the shots so i figured i would wait off and then when it became available i still was still kind of skeptical um in getting the shot because i know with shots and i'm not a doctor i'm not a nurse i'm not a scientist but i know with shots it takes a while to actually come down the pipeline to where it's available to the public so i was kind of skeptical with that so i you know did not wasn't even thinking about getting the shot. I was hoping COVID would end, yada, 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 but it didn't. Then the new variant came around and um, it's worse. And then I live in Florida and I don't like to call people, some people names, but this one person and his uh, or whoever, doing some construction and this one person who's in power not the president in our state I'm talking about um, the governor of Florida mr. I'm gonna say it, dumbass you know masks aren't mandated you don't have you know there's a whole I'm not gonna go into the political part of it but I, I should thank him because he's the one that's kind of making me want to get this shot because I see how reckless um, the Floridians are. Some of them, I'm not saying everybody, the ones who don't want to wear masks, who don't want to sanitize, who thinks COVID is a hoax, who thinks COVID is going away, even though people are dropping dead, still our numbers are high, hospitals are full, but these people still think for whatever reason that you shouldn't wear masks shouldn't some people have their own opinion about vaccine getting vaccine which i totally understand i totally get it if it's not for you it's not for you i understand it my thing is though at least wear your mask wash your hands sanitize do some measure to protect yourself and others if you're sick don't go in public and give it to other people just do your part as a citizen if you don't want the shot i get it i get it i didn't want it at all right because I know it's not the same as the flu, but I don't even take the flu shot because when I used to get the flu shot when I was in the military, I would get sick as a dog. So my doctor would tell me, don't even get the shot because for some reason, my reaction to the shot is worse. And then it never protected me because I got sick throughout the, the year with the flu. And I know it, it's, it, I'm not the only one, but you know, so I understand if you're against the shot, trust me, I get it. But my thing is, Wear your mask. Wear your mask. It, 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 it helps support, it gives you some kind of barrier. You know, I'm, I'm not saying it's gonna stop you from getting it all the way, but you know, it might help prevent prevent you from getting it. I don't, you know, I, I'm not gonna say I don't know. It does help. Thank God, none of my, no one in my family has been sick since COVID with the flu or none of that because we religiously wear our mask, okay? except my husband and I can't get into uh, that's an, that's another story but I'm responsible for me and my little ones okay so that's another reason I 
I'm gonna put my son is 11. He turns 12 in October. Unfortunately, he cannot get the shot till he turns 12. So I look at it like this: if I protect, if we protect ourselves in the house, we can in turn help to protect him. This way, we won't bring. You know, not saying you he could still catch it once you have the, the shots. Yes, I know that. And folks, another thing too, just because you get your first dose, don't think you're protected. Just because you get your second dose, you're still not protected. They they say, okay, after the first dose, I guess 21 days later, you get the second dose. You're still not protected until 21 days or 30 days after the second dose. So if we get the shot now by October, that's when I'm technically protected not protected but um whatever the word i'm looking for i can't even think of the word right now so anyway so my son is homeschool number one there's a lot of kids coming home in the county in hillsborough county which is in tampa um coming home with covid there's a quarantine i think like six thousand students and teachers are quarantined i think 400 teachers or 400 students have covid and 300 students teachers tested positive for covid in one county that's not good people and this governor i don't even understand i don't even want to get into it i didn't vote for him thank jesus i did not but there's a good reason i didn't have a reason not to because i have no clue who he is i don't really pay attention to politics but i'm just glad i did not because seriously but anyway so um this is like a little rant session but it wasn't supposed to be but i'm just telling you what's kind of leading me into more why I'm really going to get the shot because there's no restrictions in Florida as of yet and so and if the cases are climbing and the governor is you know on his power trip or whatever trip he's on I have no idea why he doesn't want to mandate the schools to wear masks and he wants to punish anyone that enforces that really that's just an added protection. It's not like you're forcing people to wear a mask or whatever, but at least you know social distancing, distancing works um, when done correctly. The mask does help when done and worn correctly. So why wouldn't you want to protect your the children? I'm not saying his children because his children probably don't even go to public school or I don't know nothing about this man. But you know, he's supposed to be for the people, I thought. But why aren't you protecting our children? But anyway, enough of Governor DeSantos, enough. But anyway, so I am going to get my shot at the VA and I'm happy I'm doing it. I was gonna wait off until I'm totally healed from my foot surgery, but I was cleared that I I can take it because they didn't want to, um, they, in case I had any complications they could they would be able to tell if it's from the sur they wouldn't be able to tell if it's from the foot surgery or from co the, the the shot if something was to happen if I had gotten the shot prior to my surgery or around the time of my surgery because that's when I was um, I started thinking about doing it was you know right around my surgery so we did the surgery first as recommended by the doctor and so now I think I'm ready for the COVID. And yeah, I took like several COVID shots before I even had my surgery. I swear, I took like four or five COVID shots. They wanted to make sure I had, you have nothing. So I don't have COVID, thank God. I wasn't, expo I haven't been exposed to anyone that has COVID that I know of, but who knows who you're interacting with in the stores. I don't really interact too much. I get what I need to go and get in the store. I don't shake anybody's hands. I don't hug. I might give you a smile but you can't even see it because I have my mask on all the time and I don't just go and hang out in the stores for no reason but anyway enough of that so once I get to the VA it's about an hour and something drive once I get there hopefully I can film a little something to show you my process and guys if the shots is for you go ahead and get it protect yourself protect your family if it's not for you listen stay away from people just stay stay by yourself you know don't have no parties and nothing none of that stuff at your house and you know go out to dinner and listen eating out y'all be careful also wash your hands wear your mask i'm telling you this thing is real it's getting worse it's only gonna get worse um you know there's no light at the end of the tunnel right now 
Okay, so that's just how we have to look at it. Take precaution, pretend this is, as, as I, I heard this one doctor said, pretend this is a brand new virus. It is because it's nothing like the first one. Nothing. It cannot be treated like the first one because it's a totally different virus. It kills faster and people are getting infected faster. Um, the transmission, transmittal rate is quicker. You know, I don't know the exact numbers, statistics, but, you know, it's in the news. Watch the news. They're not broadcasting the, 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 inform the, the COVID stuff as much as they did in the beginning when it was brand new. But people, it is real. COVID is still here. People are still dying. People are still getting sick. Yes, people are recovering and some people are going moving on. There's residual, residual effects to some people. I don't know the extent of why or who's having these residual effects, but it it, it, it happens and you can get COVID more than once. I know a few people who has had it two times, twice. I've known people who has had it with the shot. So, you know, people, it, it just makes makes the symptoms a little bit better. It lessens your chance of catching it and, you know, and passing it, but just do what we need to do as a society to protect each other, you know? But anyway, so I'll talk to you guys later when I get to my appointment, all right? So I'm at the VA. Let me get my shot. We had to bring the vaccine down from the pharmacy, so we have a little wait. Was the first one for the vaccine? He was first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's me. Okay, guys. So I couldn't film much at the VA. But um, that was painless. I went. This is your little pre-entry thing. But yep, got my first dose. It was it wasn't bad. Actually, I didn't feel a thing. The only thing I felt was the cold alcohol pad, and I didn't feel a thing. So hopefully, I don't have. But they give you a lot of stuff to to read and go over for your COVID instructions and vaccine monitoring if you have any symptoms and they have it to where you can monitor oh this is pretty cool i didn't even read it to where you can verify um day one of the, the dosage and if you have any side effects or feel it in any kind of way you can log it which is good to do just in case you do have to go to the hospital or whatever they have clear log of what's going on so yeah this is very good. If you don't have one, you should try and find one online and print it off. Then they tell you about the signs, uh, not signs, the uh, symptoms, the normal symptoms, and then they have the, not normal, the less severe symptoms, and then they have the more severe symptoms right here. So yeah, after receiving, okay, this is the vaccine monitoring record. So, you should be able to print this off. Actually, this is through the VA, but I'm pretty sure um, you can find this online. And then there's, they give you a fact sheet to where you can read up about the COVID vaccine and different things. And the one I got was Pfizer. That's the only one they were given here. So um, before I know they were given all three, but I think now they're only doing Pfizer at this specific um, VA that I went to. The other one that I called, they were doing Moderna. So um, you get a choice. Um, they were closed, the one that's closer to where I live, it, they closed earlier, so I came to Tampa. So I will be checking in on if I'm feeling any kind of way or whatever, I will let you guys know. But again, people stay safe and get vaccinated if, you know, if that's what you choose to do. Um, if you're not sure, just read up on, um, do your research and see what's best for you and what's which one is best for you or if it's even for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And again, stay safe, take care of yourself, wash your hands, social distance, people. Don't go partying and don't have a whole lot of partying and don't go to the club and the bar. Just, just, just saying. But if you feel the need, that's what you need to do, then, you know, by all means. But let's take care of each other, guys. All right, bye.